Hey folks, I'm Steve Butler. What do blues legends Lightning Hopkins, Albert King, and Muddy Waters all have in common? Well, they got their start by building their own humble cigar box guitar. Today we're going to build one. Come join me as we make some homemade music right here in the garage. Alright, let's have a look at today's project. We're building a fretless cigar box guitar, and it's fretless because it's meant to be played with a slide. We have a cigar box which creates our soundboard or the body of the guitar, and we're going to use a piece of 1x2 poplar for our neck and our headstock. And you can build this with minimal hand and power tools. Well, it's not a Stradivarius or a high-end Martin guitar, but nothing beats making music on an instrument you crafted with your own hands. First thing we need to do is cut our neck stock down to size. Let's get started. Yeah, this is such a fun project to build. Whether you're a seasoned veteran at woodworking or just starting out, there's nothing better than hearing that first note ring out from an instrument you crafted with your own hands. All right, we want an inch and a half wide by three quarter inch thick piece of wood for our neck. Now I'm using poplar. You can use whatever hardwood you want. I bought this right off the shelf. And if you want to, take a one by two piece of pine and practice your cuts on it first. First thing we're gonna do is cut this piece of length to 34 inches. Yeah, I use poplar for the neck just because of the accessibility of it. You can buy it in any big box store right off the shelf, but you could use hardwood such as cherry and walnut, whatever you like. Okay, the next thing we need to do is rip that 34 inch piece down to an inch and a half. All right, I've set our fence at an inch and a half away from our blade, and that's the width we want for our neck and our headstock. Now that is too narrow to use without a push stick. The golden rule, anything narrower than your fist, you must use a push stick. Now, I've raised the blade to about a quarter of an inch above our workpiece. If you're in doubt, the thickness of a pencil. Okay, I'm wearing eye protection and hearing protection. I'm doing a lot of talking, so I'm not wearing a mask, but I'm gonna put the dust collection on. Okay, let's get started. The guitar we built was um, a, what's called a 25 inch scale length. And what the scale length determines is if we were to make a fretted guitar, it determines the spacing and the location of those frets. Okay, I removed the guard and the cover. I'm going to take out my combination blade and I'm going to put in what's called a set of stack dado blades. Now, basically what it is, it's like a cookie. You have two blades on the outside, and inside are these cutters so that you can take a wider cut, and they nestle into each other. And I'm going to do that because all our joinery is basically going to be cut using those dado blades. two cutters in the middle, and you don't want the teeth. These are carbide teeth, very brittle, can break easily. You don't want them hitting each other, so you want the blades, they just nestle in to each other, what's called inside the gullet of the blade. All right, we're all set. Just gonna go ahead and do a test piece first. 
Yeah, this is a great project that you can build with your kids. It can be done with minimal hand tools. I use the table saw and a set of dado blades, but um, you can easily scale it down and use a, a hand saw, coping saw, and just a few other tools.